You want to crack that? To crack one of those beers? Oh, uh, yeah. trust me, I'm saving that. That was gonna be my end. I was gonna pop one, and yeah, we we're gonna. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Hey guys, Benny from Huckberry, and welcome back to the Huckberry Gear Lab. And we've got another really exciting special edition. This one I've been looking forward to. One of the more anticipated, exciting new product drops on Huckberry. We've got the founder of Oyster Cooler, Ian. Ian, welcome. Thank you. Do you want to call out, you have traveled the furthest of anyone that's ever been featured in Gear Lab. I'm from Oslo, Norway. Why'd you start a cooler company? What was the impetus? What was the inspiration? So I've been working with design and brand for 20 years. I'm an industrial designer. We were working on a really difficult problem, which was last mile delivery of groceries. We started thinking, hey, how about if we transport the groceries in a container that can keep them in refrigerator temperature from the warehouse to the customer? Mm -hmm. That's where the whole thing started, that it was trying to actually bring the cooler up to the 20th century, because we discovered that nothing had really happened there for 50 years. Mm -hmm. It had been standing completely still. Let's unpackage, no yeah. pun intended, the technology a little bit, because there's a lot that's packed into this beautiful cooler. So the technology that's integrated into this uh, is six times more efficient than your high-end plastic polyurethane cooler. When we did the initial prototype, we needed to make this out of aluminium for it to be vacuum tight, mm -hmm. which is kind of one of the key uh, problems you need to solve when creating a vacuum insulated product. Uh, so we used aluminium for that purpose. So that enabled the first kind of big step, and that is, enables you to reduce the wall thickness mm -hmm. significantly. Yeah. So here you can see that the wall thickness is, you know, at least half, maybe a third of your of your plastic hard cooler. And that's what creates this very small cooler when you see it from the outside. It's almost scaringly small. Mm -hmm. but, but you fit six six packs of uh, what you want to drink in here and the ice packs. Let's talk a little bit about the, the actual materials and the construction. Incredible intention in why each one of these pieces a newbie like myself could actually remove, take apart, and then recycle, get replaced. Yeah. This is 100% recyclable, the entire thing. We have not found another performance product that is fully recyclable. I'm just gonna demonstrate the, yeah, yeah. the little pin here. And it separates into its individual parts. They can be recycled, replaced, repaired, or just rinsed. So one of the interesting features uh, with the Oyster Cooler is the fact that you can open it with one hand uh, from, from either side. Yeah. So this leaves that other spare hand, you know, free to pick out the, the drink that you want to have. So yeah. if you open both sides at the same time, you can remove the lid. And this is great for when you're cleaning the cooler, you can pour that out without the lid falling yeah. out on your, yeah, yeah, yeah. on your fingers. When you say that, like I can feel how many times I've had a cooler land on my fingers when yeah. I'm trying to clean it. Um, I also love, you don't have to like flip the cooler around. Yeah. This thing's gonna show your adventures. This is definitely gonna show your adventures, and uh, this is the one I use uh, use personally, and it's already showing that I've used it quite a lot. Yeah. So we have this saying internally, bumps and scratches are memories, yeah. not imperfections. And I would say that the carrying strap is definitely my preferred way of carrying the cooler. Yeah, yeah. Getting that weight up on the shoulder, having your hands free is so much better than the handle. I, the handle to me is like the, from the kitchen to the car, from the car to the kitchen. Sure. It works great for that. Yeah, yeah. Very easy to maneuver it into a car. Yeah, yeah. But the strap is definitely, when I go to the beach, that's, yeah, what, yeah, yeah. What, that's what I'm utilizing. Based on everything you've teed up so far, it's yeah. a pretty easy swap. So, yeah. so should I'll, we put you on the spot and sure, swap sure. the strap? Sure, I'll, I'll do a, a strap exchange. So the, the, the we call this the uni key. So we, you remove that on, on the, both sides of the cooler, and then you're gonna be taking off the handle, like so. I'm doing it blindly. There you go. Functional again, as with yeah. all this, function first, yeah. but and there's nailed a, the design details. There, there's another nice detail on this side here, and uh, I don't know if you can see this, but there are these areas over by the uni key that you can see kind of that it's made to have a, like a rope or a yeah, bungee yeah. cord over yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So that's kind of where we see you mounting it to like a pickup truck or right, a roof right, rack right. or a boat. Yeah. And you still can op open the lid, which is not common on all coolers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can see that. So uh, one of the key uh, differences in the user experience of this product and a plastic cooler is the fact that it gets cold very quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, so I would say within 20 or 15 to 20 minutes, after you put the ice packs in, it's at, like at operating temperature. Mm -hmm. One of the ice packs uh, is approximately uh, 10 hours of what we call food safe temperature. After a while, we're gonna be introducing these in different temperatures. So you can maybe have one that's for drinks and that's mm -hmm. gonna give you a longer mm -hmm. storage time. 
And we're also going to introduce ones that go lower temperature, so then you'll be able to do ice cream, which is going to be the uh, first uh, for coolers, uh, from what we Now we're talking. Yeah. yeah, we'll do a little swap. That one has the beer in it, though. Everyone just remember in the yeah, room yeah, when yeah. we need to crack the beer. This is my personal cooler, and it has these stickers that are kind of calling out the key features of the of the oyster cooler. And I think on the side over here it says no ice, which is a fairly a bold claim in, mm -hmm. uh, in, in in cooler technology. So the the key to why we put that on there is the fact that of course you can use ice packs, but it actually also functions amazingly well with nothing at all. Hmm. So if you just put cold stuff into the cooler, mm -hmm. you're gonna be surprised at how long and how cold it stays. We had um, one of our employees take it on a three, four day long weekend camping trip. He packed his beers, meats, he's got a young child, some kid food. And typically when we're going camping, it's you got your cooler, you probably gotta replenish your ice yeah. maybe the next day, every 24 hours. He just got to sit in his campsite Experience nature, go on his hikes, never have to worry. That entire three days, he said, by the time Sunday evening rolled around, yeah. his beers were just as cold, they had no food waste. Right. So it's pretty nice that it also frees you up. You don't have yeah. to think about it. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I think you're worrying less. Say something does break, they send it back. Yeah. You guys aren't throwing this in the trash. No. You just get to melt the whole thing, and because of that, 100% recyclable yeah, so, construction. So one of the dreams in the company is the fact that if we have returns or if we have coolers that are, you know, coming back to us, that we can then take off the parts yeah. that are maybe worn a little, maybe they have a little sticker on them, yeah, yeah. and then put those together again and make those the kind of refurbished products. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you might have a sticker from a guy on, in Brazil on your, uh, on your, you know, on your handle here, and uh, that would be a testament to kind of like the whole reuse. I love that. You know, reuse policy. It's like cooler pen pals. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No better way to welcome you to Texas, to the Texas heat, than a cold Texas beer in one of your coolers. So let's swap out our coolers. I'm gonna give you, do you like a hazy IPA? Sure. So we are incredibly excited to have this on Huckberry. So we'll be getting hopefully great reviews from our customers. We'll kick them back to you as well. Get excited. Cool. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome Skull. to Austin. Skull. 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 Much Cheers. better. Thanks. Oh yeah. I can attest that this is colder than the beers in our beer fridge. As always, stay tuned for more from Huck Bear Gear Lab. Until next time, we're going to drink our very cold beers here in hot Austin, Texas, and we will see you out there.